Coach Duke said he's not sure if he's ever been in a game like this, where 99 points, all these yards. Did it, when, when you come down to it, what was the deciding reason you guys did not win? Uh, it's a team effort, regardless win or loss. I mean, I could have done a lot of things to change the way of the outcome of the game, but um, people try to pick and choose and say, oh, this play, or uh, this guy, or he would have done this, he would have done that, it would have been different, but you never know. Football is a weird game, and um, at the end of the day, we just got to play better as a complete team, both on offense, defense, and special teams, and um, got a lot to improve. It seems like in the second half, you guys picked up the pace on offense a little bit for the first half. You, you had to play, not say keep away, but you wanted to do what you did in the second half. Did you guys pick up the pace a little bit? Uh, I mean, I didn't really. I was just at doing what was asked of me, I think, maybe a little bit. But um, Coach Cohen felt something, I guess, and thought momentum was going to help us with our uh, our mission, on our game plan. And uh, it just worked out that way, I guess. Well, you realize that. He's great. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy for that kid. I mean, um, the touchdown he had, he beasted his way in there. But, I mean, to transition from that wide receiver to tight end and just to be so positive about it and um, to just develop as a complete player and, and going and blocking, putting his nose in there and being fast and running good routes, it's, he's been a great asset for us and uh, he's only going to get better and I'm excited to see his progress. Well, what was this last week like for you? Obviously, you didn't play the way you wanted to last week at the Dark Bowl. You came back and maybe had your best performance individually tonight. What, what was your motivation for going to get there? I mean, yeah, it's uh, definitely have, when you have a game like I did last week, it's, it's motivation. And uh, I mean, just try to take it to the next level. Just, um, I mean, I, I, I think I have a good work ethic, but everyone, regardless of how good your work ethic, work ethic is, it can always be better. And I just, I just uh, took the approach of, um, Doing when I thought I'd done enough, just do a little bit extra, and I'm going to continue to do that for the rest of the season. You, you motioned that you felt like your face mask was pulled on that play. What did the official say? I thought, to you after I you thought my face mask was pulled. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I, I thought that I was what looking over. Say? He didn't say anything. I mean, I, I just looked over going like this. Um, I know it's not going to help getting the call, but um, uh, hey, it, sometimes things don't go your way. And uh, I was a little upset in the moment, but just got to turn around and um, get up, get into the next play. But uh, it stinks. Uh, who knows? Maybe things could have been different if it was it was called. But you can never say what if. Or yeah. They brought blitzes like so that the kind of got home in opportune times. I think the last drive or even the one before that. But what was happening on those plays? That were uh, I mean, they just they dialed up some good blitzes, and uh, I mean, I trust my offensive line with all my heart, and uh, they uh, they did a good job picking up some of them throughout the throughout the game. But I mean, they're going to get home sometimes, and uh, they did a good job dialing them up. I could have done a better job of picking better routes as answers, especially on that last drive. Um, looking back, those were the two plays that I really thought I um, could have made something happen, despite the pressure. And um, uh, but. Can't change what happened in the past, and I just got to learn from it. Um, I mean, we were just able to start clicking. Um, we were able to throw the ball pretty well, uh, much better than probably our recent games and things like that. So um, we were just out there clicking and executing for the most part, but um, we can still be better. What, what is the feeling, even after the offense does play well, but you, you can't score enough to win? <laughs> I mean, it's we could have done something that we could have done a little bit more. That's what it is. Um, just going back and watching the film and being able to see what little things we could have done here and there and what could have put us over that edge. Um, whether that be, I mean, that's on offense for us, and then even I'm sure our defense could say the same thing for them too. So. What happened on the drive right before half um, where you guys weren't able to punch in the first quarter? Just got to execute. That's all. I mean, that's really what it is. Um, I know right before that half I had two two big ones, um, and I put those on myself. And those are routine for me, I feel like. Um, but at the end of the day, I think I have to make those and so that way they don't get those three points at the end of the half. And um, you see what the score ended up being. So, yeah. How crucial is it to stick together as a team now and still going through kind of the pitfalls that you're going through these last couple of weeks? I mean, this, it's still big. I mean, we can still, we can still win our games. And if we 
show up the rest of this year and we're not focused and doing the things we need to do at practice, we're going to go out there and we're going to lose. We're not going to win games. Um, and he's played some teams close, so uh, we have to go out there and be ready to play. And even with the rest of the teams after that, we still have to go out there and play every now and so. How difficult is it? It's, uh, you go from 6 and zero to uh, just a month without a win. I mean, it's, it's much different. Um, luckily, I mean, we're not lucky enough, but I've had to go through that already. So um, I know what that at least feels like, not having a win for a while and um, just knowing that you just got to keep pushing and it'll, it'll come. So. What are some of the really good things that your, your offense can take away after struggling a week ago? Uh, definitely we'll be able to spread the ball around a little bit more than we have been in the past. I was getting doped a little bit today even uh, with some of the targets that I did have. But, uh, just everybody, just we were just clicking. That's probably our best offense performance that we've had just all around um, since we've all been together. So, Isaiah Cummings had a couple big catches. What have you seen from him lately? What was it like to see him this play? I mean, I knew I knew Zay. He was, once he moved to tight end, I was like, he could be special there just because he's such a mismatch uh, with his speed and his size and uh, having linebackers on him. And once he made he made that play in, uh, towards the end zone, and I was just like, that's one of the things that he can do, and he'll just continue to get better. Well, were you all surprised at all that he didn't go to? Chris there in the last round had the two-time half. I, mean, I guess you were trying to play to win instead of playing field goal. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we were trying to win at the end of the day. You know, we just have to execute. 99 plays? That's nuts. Yeah. Are, you, are, you, are you exhausted? Can you <laughs> yeah. feel the difference between 99 plays and 50 or whatever? Yeah, I mean, definitely. You can tell with how much running you do and uh, just the beating that you end up taking. But, I mean, that's what comes with it. What's it like being in the middle of a shootout as a, a guy who's obviously a playmaker? Do you, do you get to his own or anything? What's, what's that experience like? It's just kind of like you just got to keep going out there and make plays. So whenever the ball's coming your way, you just got to keep it, finding a way to make a play um, and just figure it out. So. 18 targets. Is there a number that's too many for you? However many they need me to, however, however many. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Um, at the end of the day, I want to help us win. If I don't have any targets to win, I'll be happy. I have 20 targets and we win, I'll be happy. So as long as we get the win. Sorry if I've been asked this already, but this rivalry is a really good one that delivers great moments. How would you just describe this rivalry against them? Uh, I mean, this was definitely it was a big robbery. Uh, I mean, just being in Nebraska and having a couple robberies there, I know what robbery games mean. And um, this is a big one. And obviously, we weren't on the right end of it, but uh, it was a good robbery game. It was a good game overall. Stopping the skid. I mean, we came into this game with a mindset that we're going to win, you know, honestly, and we didn't, we didn't obviously win it, but you know, our mindset was to come in and win, and honestly, uh, you know, it hurts. So we're going to learn from it, and we're going to just keep working and keep moving on. What was it like on the sidelines? I mean, were people get mad at each other? Were your heads down? I mean, what was it like? I don't know. We stayed motivated. We stayed motivated. You know, we have faith. You know, we just kept that same mindset that we're going to win the game. We're going to come out with a victory. You all were able to get some pretty opportune stops. But still, what's it like being in a game where the other team is it's a shootout back and forth? What's it like being a defensive player in a game like that? Oh, I mean, it's just, I mean, you just can't um, can't rest on any snap. Every snap has to be 100%. You know, the moment you slack a little bit or just don't go as hard, you know, you just Miss not being your gab, getting knocked out, you know, get pushed back. So we you just got to keep pushing and keep playing aggressive. You mentioned you had to play harder. Coach White said he didn't detect any effort issues at all. That everybody was grinding out there. So when when you say play harder, what, what did you mean by that? As in just we just got to keep playing harder and keep like you know get better. In other words, you know, watch more film. Do everything we can to win the next game, you know, and just have faith, you know. And the only way we're gonna have faith is if we just keep our mindsets up and just keep keep getting better. There's not much to it. Three game losing streak might be a scary term on the outside, but for you guys just in the locker room, what's it like for you guys to just kind of move forward? Be like, all right, you know, we just gotta keep going. Let's get oh, the next we, one. Oh, yeah, we're um, we're not too worried. We're we're gonna come Monday, go home to work. Pretty much, we're gonna come under the work, and we're gonna try to get this next week.